And there, a bit earlier, the Heat getting mentally and physically ready. Basketball's biggest stage, the NBA Finals. It begins here, and 2K Sports is happy to bring it to you. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. With me, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Game one of the NBA Finals. Let's check out the State Farm starting lineups. First for the Spurs, Tony Parker at the one and Danny Green at the two. And in the middle, out of Brazil, taking with the 28th pick back in 2008, the 6'11 pivot man, Thiago Sporter. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Duncan in at the four-man position. And for the Heat, Mario Chalmers and Dwayne Wade, the tandem in the backcourt. And playing at the five, the always versatile 6'11 star big man, able to score inside and out, Chris Bosh. A 17-point game for him in the win against Indiana. And it's LeBron James, and it's Haslam, and at the power forward. At the top seed, possessing home court advantage, and they're looking to come out and make a statement here in this first game. Well, it's been a long journey, Kevin, to get to the finals, and here they are with home court advantage. And if they're going to win this series, taking care of business at home is essential. The expectation is that they're going to do just that. I mean, they've been such a strong team all season. They're tough to beat in an opponent's building, never mind their own. And with the excitement surrounding the finals, it'll make this place that much more intimidating. And it's going to be the Spurs off the tip. And what a great feeling as the NBA Finals, with so much anticipation leading up to it, are finally going. Here's Parker. Miami grabs the miss. LeBron outside. Over Leonard. LeBron, no good. Well contested shot there. And that's the key defensively. You've got to make them work for a challenge every shot. And Green gets it to go. Well, no doubt. I mean, we're going to see him take some three-pointers. That's what he does. He's a great shooter from long range. So defensively, you've got to keep an eye on him and close out hard on him, make him put the ball on the floor. And something else I think of with him is that three-point shot from the corner. I mean, that's his shot. And we've certainly seen him drain a bunch of them. The Heat shooting their first free throws of the game. And that one falls for Bosch. And so Bosch nails both of them. You know, for a big man, he really stripes those free throws. Now let's find out what head coach Greg Popovich had to say to Doris Burke. Doris? We talked about game one and what it would mean to take it on the road. He said we're up against the best their conference has to offer. Taking this first game on the road would be a huge victory for us. But more importantly, we have to show them we're going to fight them every step of the way. Gentlemen. Thanks a lot, Doris. Chalmers against Parker. Here's LeBron. Drills the elbow jumper. LeBron's now got his first bucket in this one. And his skills go well beyond just his scoring goal. They really can run their entire offense through it. He gets to split it. Right up. And it's good on the assist by Parker. They made that one look easy, didn't they? And here are the Heat. Bosch has the pick for LeBron. Bosch is screen on Leonard. LeBron drives in. Now Haslam inside. Back to LeBron. It's rebounded by Leonard. Hey, the defense was right there, just waiting. Doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Now here's Parker. The feed now to Leonard. Back to Parker. Down low. That's good. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Now, here's Chalmers. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Leonard kicks to Parker. 
and that one's good. This has been the start that they had hoped for, coming out knocking down four of their first five shots. LeBron passes to Chalmers. He dishes it to Buck. Jacks up a three. San Antonio with the rebound. Well, with only one attempt so far falling, this is not looking good. One for four so far. The Spurs shooting their first free throws of the night. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Green. He's one of the best free throw shooters in the league. In this game, no different. He's making each trip to the line count. LeBron gets the screen from Bosch. LeBron kicks to Bosch. Looking to end the run. Hansel. That's good. Spurs leading by five. First quarter of action. Just under three and a half minutes played. Backing him down is Duncan. And the layup is good. Splitters got his second bucket of the game to go. And a great start offensively. Yeah, they've come out strong. I mean, really scoring and playing with confidence. Passes it to Bosch. Over Splitter. And Bosch gets it to go on the assist by Haslam. Smart. He's just using his size advantage to get his shot off. And a sweet stroke, too, you might add. It's Parker with the drive, and it's blocked by Bosch. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious, and a good call by the official. The Spurs shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And he knocks down the first one. Shane Battier is checked in for Udonis Haslam. And both free throws good for Green. The Heat trailed by seven. And here is LeBron. Back to Bosch. He's against Green. Oh, oh, but he'd have had two chances at the line already, making them both. That free throw, no good. The Spurs making a switch here. Diaz check in. And the second free throw, good. Spurs leading by six. Leonard with the ball. Parker dishes to Leonard. Jams it with authority. Watch out below. Get out of his way now. No way that he was going to slow him down. Not that time. They weren't about to take those points away from him. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. The Heat making a switch here. Allen's checked in. The free throw drops for Leonard. The Heat trail by nine. Here's Chalmers looking for his first bucket of the game. And there's the pass to Allen. It's stolen by Green. Now Leonard. He has five. Parker. That's blocked. 
Tell you what, things just aren't bouncing his way this quarter. Allen passes to Wade. Back to Allen. Kicks it to Buck. Fades and shoots. Gets it to go. Bosch has got seven points. Soft defense right there. Way too soft. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. Spurs leading by seven. Now here's Parker. And there's the call on Buck. That is his first foul of the game. It's Parker with the drop. Wide open. And he hits the jumper for two. The Heat have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. And here's Wade, still looking to get on the scoreboard. And he converts the layup. Tell you what, whether there's an opening or not, this guy's going to attack the rim regardless. Parker kicks to Diaw. Rebounded by Bosch. The Heat trail by seven. Chalmers with it. Now Green defending. And now running it up the court. Green pushing it all the way. The shot misses. The Heat have gone five of eight from the field, shooting over 62%. Allen shot is off. That's not an opportunity he fails to convert very often. And Parker, here we go. And the basket good. Parker's got six points. A great move to the hoop. Capped off with the finger roll. He's an outstanding finisher in close. Here's Wade. And again, it's the heat missing. That's the shot he was looking for. I'm surprised he didn't get it to fall. Here's Parker. Here's Leonard. And that's the devastating one-handed jam. They're getting whatever they want in the paint early on. Well, doing work inside, that's why they've been able to build the lead. They've been playing um, smash-mouth basketball. Now, here's Chalmers. And it's blocked. They recover it. Well, he's got the special ability, Kevin, to make shots while being heavily guarded. And I don't know how he does it, but he figures out a way to get the ball in the basket, even under pressure. And I think he's also a fantastic catch-and-shoot guy. Sometimes the ball is in his hands for no more than a split second before it's gone. Boom! And the first one at the line is good. And a new group in for the Heat. Chris Anderson has checked in for Batty. LeBron comes in for Ray Allen. Mike Miller's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Norris Cole in for Mario Chalmers. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Splitter is checked in for Duncan. Ginobili comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Gary Neal's checked in for Daniel Green. And it's Mills in for Tony Parker. Mills with it. Dishes to Ginobili. Fade away. Fader on the way. That is good. Ginobili's got his first two points of the night. This defense has been way too soft early on. They've got to start playing with some energy. You know, Steve, do something, anything to throw their shooters out of rhythm is what's got to happen here. Nice putback. That's why you want guys working hard on the boards at both ends of the floor. Mills dishes the knee. Addition out to Mills. Splitter. He feeds it to Mill. The three is launched. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. This game is really going their way early. What a lead they've built up. And that's thanks to their performance offensively in large measure. I mean, they're actually scoring with ease here. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. A different look for Miami. Haslam comes in for Chris Bosch. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Mike Miller. Then for the Spurs, 
Duncan comes in for Boris Dia. And Tony Parker subbed in for Patrick Mills. The Heat trail by 12. Here's Wade. Cole, the pass to LeBron. A jump hook. That's good. LeBron's now got six. And right now, he can do no wrong. Everything's working for him this quarter. One forty-one left to play in the first quarter. Here's Parker. LeBron grabs the miss. LeBron's now got his third rebound on the night. He hasn't been one of their key guys tonight, but uh, they are still winning despite his lack of production. And an emphatic dunk. No time wasted getting back off the ground when he got his hands on the ball. I like that quickness of jump. And that's the idea, right? You know, take it back up strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I mean, no reason to hold on to it any longer than you have to. 121 left to play in the first. And Neal kicks to Parker. Feeds to Neal. Duncan right side. Spurs working the ball around now. Splitter misses. He'd have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. Fifty-five seconds left in the first. LeBron James on the wing. Eight points for him. Five on the clock. Here's Anderson. Ball's knocked loose. Not sure what he was thinking there. That's embarrassing. You think? I mean, come on now. Doesn't he realize there's a game going on here? Now oh, here's Parker. Six points for him. Drop steps. And he finishes on the layup. Parker's got eight points. Guys, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look there. That's good basketball. Now Wade. LeBron outside. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Spurs making a switch here. Eight seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Green. Oh, good with the triple. I like the defense, guys. Really getting a hand up and challenging shots. Yes, Steve, lurking on that shot, and that was a tough one. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Spurs lead by 10. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game 1. Spurs out in front, up 10. Well, the thing they tried to establish right away was the presence down low. You look at the points in the paint. I think that's been the difference. Yeah, and I like the fact, Steve, that they're not settling for the outside shots. I mean, go in there and get what you want. Keep attacking the rim. Here's Cole. And the foul called on Gary Neal. That is his first foul of the game. And the Heat making a change here. Anderson's checked in. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Patrick Mills, he's checked in for Gary Neal. Spurs on defense. Here's Cole. Gets it to go. Cole's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Heat. Yeah, we're now starting to see them get some high percentage shots in the paint. Yeah, that's five of their last six buckets inside the lane, so they're getting really high percentage looks down there. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Steps back and fires. And another basket for Miami. Spurs leading by six. And here's Mills. He passes to Ginobili. It's blocked. The Spurs have not yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And 
and that one falls for Splitter. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for San Antonio. Gary Neal comes in for Mono Ginobili. Splitter drops them both. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Here's Cole. Pass to LeBron. Off the pick. And he dunks it after the pick frees him up. Boy, taking it hard to the rack for the big throw now. And give an unofficial assist card to his teammate for setting a screen that freed him up. Yeah, good call, Jeff. That was really the key to the play. Here's Neal for his first bucket of the game. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Here's Cole. He's covered by Leonard. LeBron has doubled. Cole. Back to LeBron. Shot clock at five. The shot misses. Well, at least he had the presence of mind to change his shot when the defense got on him. You've got to improvise sometimes. And Neal kicks to Mills. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the technical free throw is good. A different look for Miami. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Anderson. Wade comes in for Ray Allen. And it's Chalmers in for Norris Cole. Mono Ginobili, he's checked in for San Antonio. Parker comes in for Patrick Mills. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Ginobili dishes to Duncan. Parker, right side. Six to shoot. Over Chalmers. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. The Heat trail by seven. It's LeBron with the drive. From 13 feet, it goes down. LeBron's now got 12. They continue to barrel their way inside. When's the defense going to adjust? Well, I'm asking the same question myself, partner. I mean, that's eight points out of the last 10 coming inside. Oh, here's Parker. He's got eight. Over Chalmers. And that one's good. Parker. He's got 10. No, they're just getting hammered inside and really need to find a way to be tougher down there. They got to be physical. They got a man up in there. I agree. I mean, you look at the points they're giving up. Most of them seem to be coming inside the paint. Duncan against Patty. Wade. And a strong finish with two hands. Flush that thing down, young fella. That is a fierce <laughs> two-hand man. Maximum force on that dunk. Parker passes to Leonard. Ginobili outside. Over Wade. Ginobili can't hit. Solid advantage in rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps, and they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. Well, that certainly sent a ripple through the crowd. Yeah, and alley -oop always does that. One of the most beautiful plays you'll see in all of basketball. Yeah, it's impossible not to be impressed. Yep, very exciting play to see that, especially when it ends with that big slam like that one. Splitter. And it's good. Terrific work on the offensive glass to make that one work. And what I like watching, Kevin, with this guy is his ability to just chase down rebounds. I mean, he plays so hard, hustles from the opening tip till the final buzzer, and it really shows with his work on the offensive glass. And Steve, he's no wallflower. I mean, he's a real gamer. High-wired competitor, always sees the ball, and he's the first one to it when it's up for grab. Here's Parker. Good. And it's a seven-point Spurs lead. Carving them up inside there, Kevin. I mean, the defense has been vulnerable in there. Yeah, that's three straight field goals in the paint area. That's really good offense. Now, here is Haslam. Wade, he's covered by Ginobili. The drive by Wade. Stolen by Ginobili. He kicks it to Parker. Back to Ginobili. The feed to Duncan. Spurs passing it around. 
Parker kicks to Duncan. And Shane Battia gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Mike Miller's checked in for Miami. Norris Cole comes in for Mario Chalmers. The Spurs also changing it up. Dial comes in for Splitter. And it's Green in for Kawhi Leonard. Now here's Parker. 12 points for him. Free throw line jump shot. Gets it to go. Parker's got 14 points for the game. They don't seem to have many answers for him in this game. He's doing a terrific job out there. Outstanding work. Timeout called the Heat. Look at Tony Parker. What a contribution. They don't seem to have any answers for him. They need to review their game plan and look for a way to cool him off. Chris Bosch has checked in for Miami. The Heat trail by nine. Now here's Wade. He's got six. Bosch dishes to Wade. Over Green. And again, it's the Heat missing. Spurs have gone for 10 in the second quarter from the field. And Parker, here we go. They kick it out to Green. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Parker. Parker's got his fifth assist in this one. He'd have gone six of nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Wade against Green. Fades away. It's Wade again missing. Here's San Antonio now. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Parker with it. 14 points for him. He dishes it to Duncan. Covered by LeBron. Six on the shot clock. It's Ginobili with the drive. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. The Spurs have been a perfect 8-of-8 eight eight at the line. First one falls for him. Yep, great focus at the free throw line. They're taking care of business. That's exactly how you keep on the lead. 100% free throwing for the quarter. That'll do it. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Shane Battier is checked in for Miller. And it's Allen in for Dwayne Wade. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for San Antonio. So he gets them both. The Heat trail by 13. Clark David struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Timeout called the Heat. Well, they were getting run ragged out there. Good time for a timeout. Maybe it was even too late, but this club has to regroup now. Well, I tell you what, it wasn't pretty, and they definitely needed to take a minute to talk things over. Splitter has checked in for Mono Ginobili. Spurs on defense. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. The oh! Are you kidding me? That was a power yes. punch right there. Oh, right. And that's his game right there, the determination to get to the bucket. you got to love the mindset. And the highlight real replay brought to you by Sprite. Good stuff. Here's Green. Nine points in the game so far. Passes it to Parker. Diaw, the screen. Over Batiste. And that one's good. Parker. Parker's got 16 points. Boy, he did a nice job losing his man on a good pick and then just buried the jumper. That is um, basketball 101 right there, Kevin. And Cole kicks to Bosch. He's against Splitter. 13 feet away. Rebounded by the Spurs. A nice shot by LeBron. Oh, a nice little trend developing here, fellas. I mean, that's eight of their last ten from inside the paint. Yeah, they're getting high percentage looks down there. Their offense is really clicking. I don't see why they wouldn't just continue to pound the ball inside. Count that one. 18 points for Parker. Yeah, they are just lighting him up from mid-range area. You know, sometimes we forget about the value of the mid-range or in-between game. This team has made eight of their last ten with that shot, the in-between shot. Here's San Antonio now. They're on a 14-6 run. And stolen by LeBron. 
Here's the pass to Cole. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Leonard with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. Leonard. And it's San Antonio with another. That's 10 straight points now coming in that mid-range jump shot area, guys. Yeah, it is. And uh, they're picking their spots and finding holes in the middle of that defense to get those shots off. And I think that's very good discipline they're showing us here. And Cole kicks to LeBron. Slams it on the run. How about that now? What a sensational finish. Well, got to be able to get some hang time to do that. Yeah, you got to rise and levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, levitate. Know, man, and glide. Something. And glide. You got to glide in and reverse it. Oh, wow. Wow. how about that basketball that fan? Beautiful. Wow. I tell you what, you need to archive that one for the highlight tape. Oh, yeah, that, that is a keeper. You're correct. Man, that was incredible. Yeah, and those plays will give your team a huge boost. Here's Bosch. That's two fouls now here in the first half, so we'll see if they let him try to play through. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul called. He'll shoot free throws. He shot five of six at the foul line. And that one misses. We haven't seen them get to the free throw line like they did in the first quarter. Well, you can't get to the line if you're going to settle for jump shots. I mean, somebody's got to be aggressive and take it to the rack. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Chris Anderson has checked in for Battier. Wade comes in for Ray Allen. And it's Chalmers in for Norris Cole. Then for the Spurs, Tim Duncan who's checked in for Splitter. Gary Neal comes in for Daniel Green. And it's Mills in for Tony Parker. Now Mills. One ten left in the first half. Kicks it to Leonard. Just five on the clock. Over LeBron. Rebound by Mario Chalmers. The Heat trail by 12. LeBron right side. That's good and so Chalmers with the assist. Chalmers has got three assists tonight. Boy, this is a shooting exhibition, guys. I mean, he's not wasting any of his chances. D out the screen. Here's Mills. Hands the 12-footer. Mills has got six. And here comes LeBron. He's got 20. Dishes it to Anderson. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Back to LeBron. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. It's his first trip to the line. The first one falls. Both teams deciding to change it up. And both free throws good for LeBron. 17 seconds left to play in the first half. And Mills kicks to Ginobili. Diaw, the screen. Duncan with a screen on Chalmers. Ginobili, covered by LeBron. He is always so in control, guys. Even when he's going hard to the hoop. Very skilled finisher. And so we wrap up the first half. It's the Spurs, up by 12. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Now, presented by Sprint. Hope you're enjoying the finals so far. This is 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. San Antonio on top against Miami. They're off to the races with a big lead in the all-important Game 1 of the NBA Finals. 
Tony Parker making a statement in this one. He's piled up 18 points and is up to his usual tricks, dropping a lot of dimes all over the court. And on the other side, Miami's still scrapping. They've been putting a lot of defensive pressure on the other team, taking care of the rock offensively. Fundamental basketball, both sides of the court. A sensational first half for LeBron. High percentage looks in the first half. Amazing work from the field, shooting in the high 60s. That big-time bucket by him. And now, back to the game in Miami. Glad to have you with us. And welcome back to our presentation of the NBA Finals as we get going again. What a game for Tony Parker. 18 points and his huge assist tally makes it all the more impressive. Well, and he's got this team in such a good groove right now. The way he's moving the ball and passing, getting everybody involved, uh, they're in a great flow. And here is Chalmers. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. LeBron drives in, and the jam by Udonis Haslam. Flawless alley-oop that time. That's some real stylish basketball. That almost looks like a play they've been rehearsing for a while. Well, that's the beauty of the alley-oop. It, it appears that way, but really it's just timing and, and sort of a, an innate sense of awareness between two teammates. The Spurs have made a mistake at the line yet. 10 of 10. Free throw good by Parker. Both good from the line that time. The Heat trail by 12. Here's Chalmers. LeBron James on the wing. Wade. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. And it's eight points for Wade. Good defense, but got to love the finish with the finger roll over the top. Parker passes to Leonard. Leonard sets a screen for Parker. Right side, Green. Right side, Green. The dish to Duncan. Back to Green. Good D by Wade. And the defense did just enough to throw him off that shot. It's LeBron with the drive. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. LeBron's now got 24. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. For the most part, they're doing a nice job of taking care of the ball, though. Miami trailer. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Back to Bosch. Now Haslam inside gets the bucket. Haslam's got six. Again, they attack the hoop from the lane, and it's been really good to them. Yeah, they're getting whatever they want down here. That's four of their last five buckets coming in the paint area. Here's Squitter. And it's D. Wade with the rebound. Changing sides didn't seem to help them at all, huh, guys? They've missed their first three shots in the third quarter. And Chalmers kicks to LeBron. Back to Chalmers. Now Hanselm inside. And strong with the one-handed jam. They are closing in here. Their offense heating up. Well, you want to maintain contact. And after this nice run here, they've made up some ground. And they're right where they want to be. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. You know, all coaches hate defensively when you give up easy points in the paint. That, that's inexcusable. So that's the reason for this timeout here. I think it came down to the fact they were getting beat inside. And that's why the coach called timeout. They were not winning the battle inside. Here is Splitter. Eight points for him. Again, the miss by the Spurs. 
four straight misses. They've got to find a way to get back on track. Here's Chalmers, rebounded by the Spurs. Duncan's got four rebounds now tonight. Good look. Here's Parker. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Parker's got four points this quarter. You can't fault what he's been doing out there. Some really impressive shooting. Timeout called the Heat. Here's Chalmers, looking for his first bucket of the game. Here's Bosch. San Antonio with the rebound. Splitters got three rebounds so far in the game. And Parker, here we go. Here's Duncan. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. And it's an eight-point Spurs lead. Well done, finishing that one off. Chalmers off the pick from Bosch. And Chalmers kicks to Bosch. Haslam covered by Duncan. Here's Chalmers. Brings it from nine feet away. And I think his strength, Kevin, is his ability to deliver in catch and shoot situations. He's very reliable in that regard. So that gives the offense some flow. And he is also so good at getting his hands on the ball without foul. When the opposing player is on his way to the hoop, that's a real knack. Excellent hand-eye coordination makes that possible. A drive by Wade. And the foul called on Daniel Green. That's his first foul. And the Heat with some changes. Shane Battier is checked in for Hazlitt. Allen comes in for LeBron. And it's Norris Cole in for Mario Chalmers. The Spurs also changing it up. Norris Diaz checked in for Splitter. And it's Ginobili in for Kawhi Leonard. Battier kicks to Allen. He's covered by Ginobili. Shot clock at six. Allen's shot is off. Well, they'll give him that shot. He doesn't have the most reliable jump shot in the world. We know that. Parker dishes to Green. The shot no good. Some solid defense from Battier. The Heat trail by eight. The drive by Wade. Allen. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Allen's got his second basket of the game. Parker outside. Green kicks to Ginobili. Releases. Chris Bosch with the rebound. Bosch has got his third rebound on the night. Here's Cole. And that one's good. And now it's just a four-point Spurs lead. Spurs shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. Parker kicks to Duncan. To the middle, Ginobili. And the shot is good. Ginobili's got eight points. Right now, they're just pillow-like inside. Way too soft. Too many looks at and around the hoop. Yep, totally agree, Clark. Ten of the last 12 points now that they've surrendered have come inside that lane area. The drive by Allen. Battier. And the shot is good. They are in attack mode right now. That's 10 straight points, guys, all coming inside the paint. And Steve, if I'm them, I'm, I keep going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. They don't offer resistance. Take everything you can get in there. Goes up on the wing. That's good from Ginobili on the assist by Parker. Parker's got his eighth assist in the game. Cole, the pass to Bosch. He feeds it to Allen. Let's up. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's the triple. It's rebounded by Boris Diaw. Diaw's got three rebounds so far in the game. And Parker, here we go. From 13. And the Spurs scoring again. Well, they haven't had to ask him to do too much, but he's doing whatever's needed out there. 
Reed with it. He's got eight. A rebound by the Spurs. Duncan's got rebound number five here tonight. And Parker, here we go. Back to Duncan. Goes right up. Shot is off. The Heat go the other way with it. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. And it's Cole missing. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but they really challenged him. Ginobili dishes to Parker. Feeds it to Duncan. And it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Allen for three. Green with the rebound. Well, I tell you what, guys. His struggles from the field have definitely taken their toll on the team today. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second call. And a new group in for the Heat. Chris Anderson has checked in for Bosch. LeBron comes in for Shane Battier. Mike Miller's checked in for Ray Allen. And it's Chalmers in for Norris Cole. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Splitter is checked in for Dion. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Tim Duncan. Gary Neal's checked in for Daniel Green. And it's Mills in for Tony Parker. It's Miller on the wing. Trying to get back on track. Offensive rebound. LeBron kicks to Anderson. That one goes. Count. Anderson's got his first pass. And all 10 of their last points have come inside the paint. So defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. Yeah, and you got to do a little more to stop it, too. I mean, it's coming way too easy for him. At some point, you just got to buck up and say it's not going to happen. Udonis Haslam, he's checked in for Miami. Spurs leading by seven. Mills passes to Neal. Honor Ginobili on the way. Just four to shoot. Three-pointer. And it's Miami with the rebound. One thirty-two left to play in the third. It's tipped. Here's Chalmers. The shot is off. The Spurs have gone seven for sixteen in the second half from the field, shooting a bit under fifty percent. Ginobili dishes to Mills. He passes it to Splitter. He kicks it to Neal, and there's the feed to Mills. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Neal's shot is off. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. And Chalmers kicks to Miller. Now Hanselm inside. Makes the lead pass. And it's Chalmers that time on the assist by Haslam. Chalmers has got his second bucket of the night. 35 seconds left to play here in the third. And Mills kicks to Neal. Takes a three. That is good. Neal's got his first three points of the game. And I'll tell you what, they might want to pay a little more attention to him defensively uh, than they did on that last trip. Ginobili against LeBron. And Anderson kicks to LeBron. Miller outside. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's now got his fourth assist in this one. Now Ginobili. The three for Mills. That falls. Nice feed that time for Mono Ginobili. Mills has got nine points. Well, it didn't take long to get those three points back. Nope. An immediate answer right there. Right back at you. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Spurs lead by eight. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this.
Spurs leading by eight. And here is Parker. Duncan with a screen on Chalmers. Parker drives in, cuts to the middle, and the layup is up and in. Parker's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Spurs. Here's Wade. Clock at six. From the high post. Rebound San Antonio. Parker's got three rebounds so far in the game. Pass to Green. He dishes it to Leonard. Passes it to Parker. And the pass to Duncan. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Parker's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. LeBron passes to Bosch. Back to LeBron. To the inside. And Wade slams it in. Both of these teams have really stepped it up offensively. You know what, Steve? They haven't missed a chance, and I think both teams really know what's at stake on every possession here. Green dishes to Parker. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Kicks to Splitter. Working on Bosch. It's a look. Splitter misses. The Heat trail by 10. Dishes to LeBron. There's the dish to Wade. Over Duncan. Duncan with the block. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Parker kicks to Splitter. Duncan high post. He feeds it to Green. Over Wade. Green, no luck. Splitter, that's good. He has such a great feel for how a missed shot is going to come off the rim. Really plays those angles well. That's exactly why he consistently beats defenders to the ball. LeBron against Duncan. LeBron passes to Allen. Feeds it to Buck. Out to Wade. He passes to Allen. Allen left side. He kicks to Chalmers. Back to Allen. That's good and so Chalmers with the assist. Six points for Allen. You know, he got one step ahead of the defense on that one. Excellent job. Green with the ball. Wade picks him up. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That's his first foul. Get on his hands He's checked in for Chris Box. And San Antonio also making a switch. Ano Ginobili's checked in for Daniel Green. Ginobili dishes to Parker. Double team on Parker. Ginobili. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. And that's 12 points for Ginobili. Well, even with the double team, he had the vision to find the open man. And Chalmers kicks to LeBron. And they double him up with LeBron. Throws it up high. And then Wade slams it in. Now that's how you execute an alley-oop there, fellas. And with an exclamation point, two on the finish, throwing it down hard. Oh, what a terrific play on both ends. Parker passes to Leonard. And stolen by Chalmers. The feed to Allen. Pass to LeBron. Over splitter. LeBron, no good. Spurs leading by 10. Here's Parker. Another one falls for San Antonio. He'd have gone 3 of 7 from the 4 in the 4th. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Now here's LeBron. Over Duncan. The shot's good from LeBron. LeBron's now got 26. Now he's talented from that range. That's what separates him from a lot of shooters.
Free throw good, LeBron. The Spurs have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Parker with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Gets it to go. Splitters got four this quarter. Boy, what a great job of getting into the teeth of the defense and scoring in the paint. And that's been their main point of attack. I mean, get the ball deep and try to score from in tight rather than rely on their outside shooting. I mean, that's a more consistent way to score, take it inside. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. And that'll be his third foul so far. And Chalmers kicks to Allen. Covered by Parker. The kick out to LeBron. Over Duncan. Rejected by Duncan. And even three-on-three -three break. Double team on Parker. Ginobili. He dishes it to Leonard. Good. Just like they drew it up, fellas. The Heat trail by 13. Chalmers with it. Pass to LeBron. High post try. And that comes off the assist by Mario Chalmers. Chalmers has got his seventh assist here tonight. Spurs leading by 11. Ginobili kicks to Parker. The pass to Leonard. Ginobili outside. Fires for three. Rebound by Mario Chalmers. Chalmers has got four rebounds in this game. LeBron with it. Guarded now by Duncan. Now LeBron. Here's Wade. He's off from 17 feet. Deflects the pass. Tries to save it. Ginobili attacking. Kicks it to Duncan. And the foul on Dwayne Wade. That's foul number two for him. The Heat making a switch here. Bosch is checked in. On defense, the Heat. 11-point game. Gets the bucket. Boy, nice pick there, guys. I mean, gave him the space he needed for the hoop. Chalmers dishes to LeBron. Dishes it to Aslam. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's now got six assists in the game. Look at their scoring. Mid-range jumpers account for six of their last ten points. Well, defensively, they're doing a nice job of keeping them out of the paint, but you got to give them credit. They're knocking down shots. Chalmers against Parker. The dish to split it. It's tipped. And that'll be San Antonio as it goes out of bounds. Spurs retain possession. San Antonio calls timeout. He did not look too happy about some of the things he saw on the court. So I would expect some changes here. I think it's the right move, quite honestly. I mean, they just didn't look sharp or at their best out there. So take the timeout and give yourself a chance to regroup. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich coaching his team during that last break. He was highly animated when he was talking to them, telling them this is going to be a huge win for us. When we close this out, it will go a long way towards showing the rest of the league what we're capable of. Here's Parker. No good on the quick three. Boy, I'm shocked he didn't make that one. He, he usually knocks that one down with ease. And the dunk by LeBron. What a play. No regular dunk there. A superb alley-oop. And it was a great pass, too, to set him up. You know, those two have such a great feel for each other. Uh, they're just fun to watch play together. Duncan, the pass to Parker. And that one's good. Parker's got six here in this quarter. He's done an outstanding job all game long. Absolutely a great job of finding an opening against the defense. Bosch heads the pick for LeBron. Haslam, that's good. He's been hot for most of this game, and if he keeps it up, his team could turn things around. Clark, they can burn some clock if they want to. Yeah, and maybe buy a little oxygen while they're doing it. <laughs> Parker kicks to Ginobili. Up with it. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. 
What a game for Ginobili. 15 points, and he's gotten a three-pointer to fall for him, too. Yeah, he's no one-dimensional player, Clark. He can do damage in several ways, including from long range. That free throw good from Ginobili. Both free throws good from Ginobili. Yet to miss a free throw here in the second half, guys. And you love that efficiency from the foul line, Steve. Really can help you maintain a lead and win a game. Here's Bosch. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Yeah, the defender draped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. He misses the free throw. Now, if you settle for outside shots like that, you're going to have a hard time cutting into this lead. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if you look at them this half, they haven't gotten to the free throw line as much. And it's in part because of their willingness to settle on offense. It's a matter of not just taking what's available. Good teams take what they want as far as shot selection. He needed to cash in on all of those. Missed opportunities at the line are the last thing they need right now. You let him get to the rim, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, you deserve that. Yeah, he's more than capable. You're right, Clark, of providing some great highlight reel material. Yes, sir. And for a point guard to finish like that, I mean, that is just special. Splitter dishes to Genova. Overweight. Out to Parker. He feeds it to Genova. And it's good on the assist by Parker. 19 points for Ginobili. And the Heat call time here. They're down by 11. There's 117 left in the game. There's 117 left to play here in the fourth. He hits the first one, and that brings them to within 10. He's off that time. Second free throw missing. They continue to pull down misses, and that's how they're maintaining this lead. Yeah, well, one and done is the recipe for continuing to hold on to a lead. You don't want to let the other team back in it by giving them extra possession. And here's Wade. LeBron James on the wing. Tim Duncan grabs the miss. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. Parker passes to Duncan. Over LeBron. Good D by LeBron. That's his comfort zone, so defensively, really nice job challenging the shot. There's 31 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. He's done a ton to help his team, guys, and he may have to do more if they're going to come back and win. Clark, they're in good position here to ride it out. Yeah, they certainly are. I mean, if they just play smart right here, Kevin, this game's pretty much over. Parker kicks to Duncan. No good. Nice D from Bosch. Wade against Duncan. Shot from 16. LeBron dishes to Wade. Bosch passes to Haslam. Kicks it out to LeBron. And that one's on target from the wing. So it's San Antonio with the win. It was a solid win, Clark. Yeah, it was, and I think it came down to will more than skill. They went out and got this one.
So game one is in the books for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you for game two as we present our Jordan Player of the Game.